I am happy to introduce Nikki Semenza, who is part of the 2017 fellowship class. Nikki did her fellowship in the office of Congresswoman Lucille Roybal Allard. So my first question for you, Nikki, is how would you describe your fellowship experience in a few words or a phrase? Both one of the scariest and most exciting uh, times of my life. It was, it was a roller coaster. What skills and opportunities that you received as a fellow do you think were the most useful for the rest of your career? Nothing really compares to saying that you were working on the Hill. You know, in being a fellow, you, uh, of course, are replaced at the legislative aid level. And so I think that's such a great way to market yourself when you're looking for work, either on the Hill or off the Hill, because, you know, working on tight timelines, you know, shifting priorities, becoming almost a chameleon and being able to work in different issue areas. You, know, you can really market that to so many different employers with the private sector, public sector, you know, they're always going to be looking for someone who's quick on their feet, who's a self-starter and, and they're going to be efficient. And I think folks who come from the Hill, again, no matter where they are, they just have to learn that to survive. So I think being on the Hill, having this fellowship, be able to talk about working for a senior appropriator like I've been able to do has just been something just incredibly helpful throughout my career. So why do you think opportunities such as the fellowship are so important for young women? Young women just need to have that door open. And then as soon as they get that foot in the door, they will just be the best versions of themselves and they will just shine. But just getting to that point, at least for me, I always speak for myself, it's really hard. You know, it's so again, like I, I tried to get into DC um, right after grad school. I never did. You know, I arguably didn't have a lot of connections. I wasn't looking at the right places, but I just felt really stuck, even though I knew it was something that I wanted. Um, but allowing, you know, WCPI helping women just get there and just saying like, yes, we believe in you and we'll support you throughout this fellowship. It's just not something that happens every day. So like, like the confidence boost, you know, being around such incredible women, the luncheons that they had where you could just see other, not only women, but you know, seeing oftentimes women in leadership roles, you know, doing things that you could see yourself doing is it's that that training, that awareness that I think is just so important for young women. Cause I think sometimes you get put into these boxes of what you can and can't do. Just thinking about my own career so far, I know I was a psych major in social work, so the liberal arts are kind of fluffy and there's not a real trajectory. And so I think sometimes it's hard to figure out what exactly you want to do. So doing something like a fellowship is a great, you know, job training, great experience to just get in and try things on and see what fits and what doesn't. And that's exactly what I personally needed. And so my final question for you is how has female leadership inspired you? I would say in particular being a mom now, I say uh, it's just so important to see women thriving and shining, especially in leadership roles because I know how hard it is. You know, it doesn't always have to fall on women to be in the primary caregivers or take care of the house and all this stuff, but just frankly, right, that's kind of how it, how it comes out. Um, and so I think to see women pushing through all of that and being in leadership is just so, it's so incredibly important. You know, women just tend to be more aware of the obstacles that people face to get to where they are and women often lift as they climb. So I think you know, seeing women in leadership, I'm imagining they're also grooming the next leaders to replace them. So there's just something about that sisterhood that you just, again, you don't always get in all, uh, all companies. And for me, yeah, as a mom, seeing other moms just rock it out, seeing them, you know, doing it all, but also realizing like they need their, their village. It just is great to see um, that women in these, in these roles. Well, thank you so much, Nikki, for sharing your stories from your time as a fellow and your continuous support of the fellowship. We are so grateful to have you as our featured fellow this month. Thank you.